What is uranium? Hello engineering lovers, I'm Igor Felipe and today we'll discuss a very important and controversial material. And its uses can be both for the benefit of the population and for harm. Uranium. But what is uranium? Uranium is a chemical element that belongs to the family of heavy metals and is identified by the chemical symbol U on the periodic table. It is one of the best known elements because of its use in the production of nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. It is a radioactive element and emits alpha, beta and gamma particles. This property of emitting radiation is what makes uranium useful in the production of nuclear energy. For example, the nuclear fission of uranium is used to generate heat, which is converted into electricity and nuclear power plants. Uranium is naturally found in the Earth's crust, and surprisingly, it is one of the most abundant elements on the planet. However, it is not found in its pure form, but rather in minerals like uraninite and carnitite. The largest uranium reserves in the world are concentrated in a few countries, including Kazakhstan, Canada, Australia, Russia, South Africa, and the United States. These countries are responsible for the largest uranium production in the world. The way uranium is found in nature depends on the type of mineral deposit in which it is located. And just like its form, its extraction process also depends on the type of deposit in which it is located. There are three main types of uranium deposits. Igneous rock deposits, sand deposits, and sedimentary rock deposits. Igneous rock deposits are formed when uranium is concentrated in igneous rocks such as granite and rhyolite. These deposits are found in areas with volcanic activity and extracting uranium from these deposits usually involves underground mining. Sand deposits, on the other hand, are formed when uranium is concentrated in sediments, such as sand and gravel, in areas like beaches and even deserts. These deposits are often found in arid climate areas, such as the Sahara Desert, and extracting uranium from these deposits usually involves washing the sediments to separate the uranium. Sand deposits are also found elsewhere worldwide, including India and Brazil. For those who have heard of Praia da Areia Preta in Guarapari, Espírito Santo, you know that it's possible to produce uranium-233 from the thorium found on this beach. Sedimentary rock deposits are formed when uranium concentrates in sedimentary rocks such as limestone and shale. The extraction of uranium from these deposits usually involves open pit mining as well as underground mining. It is important to emphasize that uranium extraction must be carried out carefully and in a manner responsible in order to minimize both environmental impacts and those on human health. Mining companies must follow regulations and standards, strict to ensure the safety of their workers and local communities, as well as to minimize environmental impacts. Once mined, the removal of this uranium-containing mineral begins. After the uranium is extracted, it is processed to remove impurities and increase its concentration into enriched uranium. But if it is a dangerous material, how is its mining done without posing risks to the workers? Uranium mining can be done safely if the proper measures are taken to ensure it. During the mining process, radioactive gases such as radon can be released and Radioactive particles, which can be inhaled by workers or released into the environment. In addition, excessive exposure to radiation can lead to health problems such as cancer and other diseases. To ensure the safety of uranium mining, adequate protective measures are necessary, such as the use of personal protective equipment by workers, proper ventilation in the workplace and regular monitoring of radiation exposure. It is also important for mining companies to follow applicable safety regulations and standards as well as to invest in training and qualification of workers to deal with the risks of mining. But what is a radioactive material and why is uranium radioactive? Radioactive material is material that contains unstable atoms. This means that their atomic nuclei tend to spontaneously break apart and emit radioactive particles such as alpha, beta and gamma particles. 
These particles can be harmful to human health and the environment depending on the amount and type of radiation emitted. Uranium is radioactive precisely because it has these unstable atomic nuclei. Specifically, uranium-235 is an unstable isotope of uranium, which is used in nuclear energy production. That's because it can be split by neutrons of any energy, but preferably by low energy ones, which we call thermal neutrons or slow neutrons. Uranium-238, on the other hand, is an unstable isotope that is naturally found in the Earth's crust and is less used in nuclear energy production. That's because it can only be split by neutrons with high kinetic energy or fast neutrons. But what are those numbers after uranium? That has to do with the mass number. Where uranium-235 has 92 protons and 143 neutrons in its nucleus. Adding the two gives a mass of 235. Uranium-238 has 92 protons and 146 neutrons which add up to its mass number. When the nucleus of an atom disintegrates, it emits radioactive particles that can be dangerous to human health and the environment. For example, alpha particles can be blocked by a sheet of paper, but beta and gamma particles can penetrate the human body and cause irreparable damage to cells and DNA. For this reason, it is important to take appropriate safety measures when handling radioactive materials, including uranium. If you like television series, I highly recommend the home box office series Chernobyl, where it explains what happened in the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. And the damage that radiation can do to people and the places it affects. But where is uranium used? As I already mentioned at the beginning of the video, uranium is mainly used as fuel in nuclear reactors to generate electricity. When uranium is bombarded with neutrons in a nuclear reactor, a chain reaction occurs that releases a large amount of thermal energy. This energy is then used to generate steam, which drives turbines and generators to produce electricity. We've already made a video explaining how a nuclear power plant works, and if you're interested, I'll leave a card for that video at the end of this one for you to check out. Uranium is also used to produce nuclear weapons. This happens when uranium-235 is enriched to increase its concentration using the same concept of nuclear fission. Once it is bombarded with neutrons, it initiates a chain reaction that releases a lot of energy. Besides generating electricity and producing nuclear bombs, uranium has several other uses in different fields, such as in medicine. Nuclear medicine uses uranium radioisotopes, either for diagnosis or for the treatment of diseases. For example, the same uranium-235 is used to produce radioactive isotopes, which can be used in imaging exams, such as tomography and scintigraphy. Uranium-238, on the other hand, is used in cancer therapy, since the radiation it releases is capable of destroying cancer cells. Uranium is also used as fuel in some types of spacecraft propulsion, such as in small-scale nuclear reactors. The energy released by nuclear fission is used to heat a fluid that expands and pushes the turbines, generating mechanical energy for propulsion. It is also used in different industries, such as in the production of ceramics and glass, where it is used as a pigment to produce color and shine effects. And uranium is also a chemical element and important for scientific and technological research, being used in various experiments and studies. For example, to investigate the structure of the atomic nucleus. It can even be used in the production of paints, fluorescent in nuclear batteries, and even in central heating systems. Although it has various uses, it's important to emphasize that the use of uranium is highly regulated and controlled since it is a highly radioactive substance. And did you know about all these uses for uranium? Do you think we should use this element more for electricity production? Leave your thoughts in the comments, I want to know. I'm going to leave two videos here on the side that you might also like, and one of them is exactly the video where I talked about nuclear power plants. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share so more people learn about uranium. That's it, engineering lovers, a big hug, and I'll see you in the next video.